we have this link about Taylor Lautner's wife. Did you guys already talk about well, this? Well, no, we didn't talk about this, but I saw this this morning and it shocked me to my core. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Pull up this video, guys. What is the video? You'll can, see. Can you preface it? I No, it, I think you just go in blind. Do you know who Taylor Lautner is? Yeah. Well, just read. She's saying, okay, this was my crush that I grew up with. And the person. And I'm paraphrasing because I'm not wearing my So it's show yeah. us your crush yeah. versus the person you, you ended up with. Yeah. Okay, she's showing her childhood crush. And that's going to go ahead and be Robert Pattinson as Edward Cullen. Okay. Okay. Who could blame her? And now that's Taylor Lautner. Get out. Wait. And Which... her name's Taylor? Yes. Yeah, so Taylor Lautner's married to a woman named Taylor. Her so crush. Both of their names are Taylor, Taylor and Taylor Lautner. Lautner. Could you yeah. do that? I don't know if she changed her last name to Lautner, though. That's something to look oh, into. Cool. Can you imagine growing up having a like having an insane crush on Edward and then marrying the guy who plays Jacob? Well, it seems like you're a big fan and you would take anything like you could get to get just <laughs> close to it. <laughs> Me? Like, yeah, like, of course, like, she couldn't get Robert Pattinson in, like, Taylor Lautner hit on her, and you'd say yes. No, wouldn't I wouldn't. You? No. A oh, bullshit, no. bro. No. No, I would not. You would say no to Taylor Lautner. Mm -hmm. Come on. Like, if he hit on you. Right. You would, uh, you would eventually meet Robert Pattinson. Robert it's, Pattinson would probably, I probably show wouldn't. up. I probably wouldn't. I doubt they talk. I don't believe that for a second. It's so hard when you're so ingrained in the Twilight community as one is, and as I am. spider monkey or... <laughs> yeah, my spider monkey sweater. I yeah. read I read you Twilight all the way up until like halfway through <laughs> New Moon because like all the girls that I really liked read Twilight and I thought it would be a great way to right. connect with them. Yeah, it well, it's not. an incredible franchise, an incredible saga. And um, I just am so f fiercely Team Edward that I don't think I could do that. Okay. At, like just like from a principal standpoint. But do you think that's but because some people have done this TikTok trend? Mm -hmm. What she was doing is like mm -hmm. show who your child right. crushes and who you ended up with. Right. And most of the time, it's someone who looks like that exactly. person. Exactly. This was a different take. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that is true though? Do you think sometimes people end up with like people who look like their childhood crushes? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think that's. I think true. people also end up with people that look like their parents. parents. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of. And also, I think almost all married people look alike. That I've seen recently. They look like alike. no offense. You and Patricia look like twins. We do. It's, we are that <laughs> siblings are dating kind yeah. of. Yeah, like there's a reason siblings are dating is so popular. Also, I think I could also be just getting confused because once couples have kids, you see both of the parents in the kid. So then you start to think, okay, the parents look alike, but really you're just thinking I've seen a morph of them, so I'm thinking they look alike right. because I've seen the product of two of them morph together. Do you ever like hope that your kid looks like one of like your aunts or your uncles, but not like your parents? Yes. I ho I don't I hope that my kids don't that look like <laughs> like my sister. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, don't cheat. I do hope that. Um, I don't really thoughts? have that much to say about the topic. Oh, honestly, okay. like I who was your who was your childhood crush? Sexual Awakening. Um, I mean, Sexual Awakening. It's always like animated characters, so I'd rather not di dive Me into too, that. Con. Really? That's okay. Yeah. It's not off limits. Really? Yeah. What what animated? Um, the lioness from. Lion King. Yeah, that's oh, a big one. That's Nala. A big one. Nala. Yeah. That you are not alone, honey. It's really freaky to say yeah. a lot. It, no. It's weird to say. You're not alone. And then a uh, Goofy movie. Yes. Oh, that's a yes. Roxanne. Roxanne. Roxanne is a universal Roxanne. Crew. Yeah. They knew what well, they were doing when yeah. they made Roxanne. Yeah. But she wasn't but but she wasn't attracted I mean, like, to what her dad looked like because Roxanne's dad in Goofy movie is huge. Remember, he's just like <sighs> she's oh. like daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, remember he like greets him yeah, on the front porch? Yeah, I guess porch. it doesn't apply to everyone. You know that scene? I can't tell if Goofy movie, like Gladiator, steal inspiration from the Goofy movie. Oh, yeah. You know the scene in Gladiator where he's like yeah. just trying to get back home no, and his wife that. and his kids are in the wheat and he's trying to get to it. In the Goofy movie, there's this scene where she's standing in the wheat and he sees the back of her. You know? That's probably based off of Gladiator if what you're telling no, me. No, no, no. Other way around. Gladiator came out in 1990, like oh. nine. Yeah. Goofy movie came out in 96. So you're saying Gladiators based off of the Goofy movie? At least just stole some There's cinematography a, yeah. from it. That's a lot to... That is we a lot have to, to do. Digest. Oh my god! You should actually, Matt, make a TikTok or whatever. Have you? No. Then I, the you thing should. Is, I'm the only. I feel like I have. 1995. Then you should. That's something important that you need to point out. Oh, it came out in Cinco de Mayo. Wow. Oh, that's incredible news. Effective. There's no. Yeah, you should point that out. The similarities between the Goofy movie and Gladiator. That's a thesis waiting I'm, to happen. I'm on it. I am on it. Uh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, my celebrity obsession started really, really early at around age three with The Count. Here we go. I'm sorry. I <laughs> have to. The, the, the Count? I, if like, we were talking about it, it's related to the subject count, matter. The Count? From Sesame Street. Oh, yeah, Count and Dracula. Like, my, no, The Count. But he's a Dracula. 
Right? He's like a Count a vampire. Isn't, Dra- Count- isn't Dracula one man? Count Dracula. Count- That's his name. No, he's Count, Count von-, von Count. Count von Count? He's not Dracula. What kind Dr- of name is that? He has fangs. Isn't Dracula the name? Dracula's not another word for he vampire. He was Count Dracula. Isn't yes, it weird that- Yes, as in his name is Dracula. That this is a play that- This is a play on the fact that they call any vampires Count Dracula- because it counts numbers. It, but you know what I hate? He only has four fingers. If you're teaching kids to count, give him five fingers. Oh, my God. He's running, he can't even count to ten with all hands. <laughs> and, he's, oh, we, and he's the count. I'm embarrassed to say I didn't oh. know that about him. <laughs> I just right, I just saw that. <laughs> that <laughs> he's like, <laughs> how does he count to ten? That was my first experience of being like a full groupie. It was at Sesame Street on Ice. I th- tried to throw myself on the rink <laughs> 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 for the count. 